so yeah very good morning to one and all so today we are going to see about webinar on iot with data science okay so the internet of things with data science okay so the this webinar is sponsored by sri vengadeshwara college of engineering and technology autonomous ap andhra pradesh okay so the program is organized by department of it and csc okay so internet of sorry we are going to see about internet of things with data science okay so how we can do data science type of project with iot devices okay so this is the main aim of this webinar and then we like to give thanks to sri vengadeshwara college of engineering and technology and then the program organized by department of it and csc okay so and then uh we like to give thanks to convener and coordinator the convener is dr j velmurugan and then mrs p jodhiswari and then coordinators mr uh, mrs g b hima bindu okay so thanks for this wonderful webinar and so that's it so the program is connected by pantak key learning i am kamlesh i am also from pantak key learning okay so today we are going to see about iot with data science so before we entering into the session i like to tell about pantak solution so our profile about our profile like we are origin from 2004 and then we have seven branches and like different type of states in india and then 100 plus employees and then 100 plus 1200 plus workshop we conducted for each and every stage like more than we have a branches in like uh, tamil nadu andhra and then vijayawada and then kerala so we conducted the most uh, more number of workshops okay so workshop is like an fdp program or hands on training for work students and then we have some other r and d uh industries projects also we have like uh, real time research and development industries projects also we will do and then we have separately academic type of projects also okay like academic type of projects means for csc department or it department uh triple e or ec or any other like uh, uh mca mba okay so we are doing those type of academic projects also and then we are we have like intensive and in plan training also and short term course and then value added course and then academic projects and customized uh, design service also okay so this is our area we are covering as a pantech solution and pantech e learning and then so this is our profile and then if you are new to this channel you please subscribe the channel and hit a bell icon you will be get a notification each and every time when we are posting a live webinar uh, daily okay so we are posting a live webinar uh, daily for two times okay so from different different domains if you are like and uh, if you are like this video you can click a like button and if you are uh, if you are gain some knowledge in this webinar definitely your friends also want to gain those knowledge so definitely share the videos to Uh, some other people also okay so thank you thank you let me enter to the session so before that i already told to you know so here triple e and ece department and csc and it domains okay internet of things artificial intelligence and embedded system vlsi fpga tms process and then we have uh, very large system okay so and then vlsi related all the all both hardware system and software systems image processing open cv network simulator and then power electronics electric vehicle so these are the areas we are covering for ec and triple e domains and then we have projects like csc and it domain that is fully oriented about like uh, only software okay so big data analysis internet of things 
python and at kotlin and at application development and data and image text mining cloud computing and then mobile computing so this is the area we are covering for uh, csc department okay so let's be entered to the system so today's session is all about uh, introduction how what is iot and what is the use of iot and then process okay so how we can collect the use how iot is working okay so that is the process and then hardware okay so i don't want to prolong the session in hardware i just i will tell you some of the hardware those hardware most of the person will be know okay so about arduino and the nodem c only and then sensors okay sensors is important okay so when you are uh, want to uh, do iot okay so you need sensor sensors is important not only for iot scatter if you need to go with artificial intelligence robots or some other driverless cars okay so you need to achieve uh, you need some sensors okay then cloud platform for internet of things okay so this is important because uh, iot the full 100% iot if you want to achieve means we need to use cloud storage also okay so without cloud storage uh, if you are doing some iot project means it's not an uh, like it's it's not a fulfill okay so io cloud storage also important in iot scatters okay so how we can use clouds and then how uh, we can retrieve the data from the clouds i will tell you in today's session okay so this is the all about uh, uh today's table of contents okay so let me enter into the session first of all introduction so introduction is nothing but uh, like uh like just how we can do internet of things okay so one second so here you can see first of all you need to communicating device okay so using internet okay so communicating device means uh, if you take an iot okay so we have hardware and we have sensors and we have cloud okay so we those if, you, if the data is collected by the sensors we need to transfer those sensors through one place to another place otherwise through cloud okay so for that purpose we need some communicating device okay that is we need some uh, antennas okay so tra to transferring the data from one place to another place okay so that one is important okay and then next one analyzing and predicting to predicting and learn okay so this is in cloud itself if you want means you can analyze the data uh, how the data is having and then you want to store those data as which type of file okay so we have different type of files and then in cloud also they will give if you want to export your uh, census data how you can export like a csv file or excel file or some other file okay so this is the important okay then after that sensing and collecting the data from nature okay so sensing and collecting the data from nature means like so we will place the our sensors like temperature sensor or humidity sensor or heartbeat sensor okay so we will place the sensors in through in ecosystems okay in environment you will place some uh, sensors okay so you need to take collect those sensor data only okay so in real time if you need one example of iot means our smart devices like smart band okay smart watch we have okay so they will collect the data from your body itself like heartbeat pressure blood pressure level and uh, how much you are walking today and how much you are uh, walked on yesterday's okay so they will compare with each other distance and then they will plot the graph okay so in that graph it will be give the result uh, compared to yesterday you are getting you are not today's you achieve some other uh, plus distance like that they will give some sensing of data okay then analyzing the data so this is the this is the path we are doing in this webinar also so we first we will collect the data after we collect the data we need to store some place and then after using some keys api keys okay so we are retrieving the data from the through online and then we are analyzing those data okay so introduction all about and then this is the study and the objects of our whole process of iot okay so here you can see in left corner we have 
sensors okay so sensors sensor is nothing but like blood pressure uh, like sorry uh, like humidity sensor or temperature sensor okay so like those sensor we will place okay that is a sensor okay and actuators okay actuator is nothing but like uh, motors okay so uh, sometimes we will use some motors also okay so that is called activators okay so sensor is different actuator is dif difference actuators will do some uh, work okay so based on the sensor activity actuator will do some work and then smart devices everybody will know about some so so like this we will do some uh, sensors in uh, environment okay so after that we will store those data into the cloud gateway okay and then after that we will use those cloud data to some uh, machine learning application or model okay so how we can retrieve those data okay so how you can retrieve those data means using api key okay api key is nothing but like uh, if you are taking uh, one cloud account okay uh, in your cloud account they will give some api keys okay uh, for example if you are using twitter okay so twitter is the one of the uh, social media platform if you want in that platform if you want like some data like using hashtag using hashtags you want to take some data means the twitter have some separate another account also like developer account okay based on the developer account you can log in the developer account after you log in the developer account they will give some api keys okay so 16 bit api keys like privacy secure uh, some keys will they will give public key and then user key like that they will give some keys based on that those keys if you are giving in those keys into um, your program it will be retrieve the data from twitter also okay so for example i need hashtag related to india ready for war like that if you have if you need hashtag data uh, related to those hashtags you need some data means you can take it to the data otherwise covid 19 in india, in india if you need uh, based on the hashtag if you need any data you can using the data with with api keys okay so api keys nothing but it's like a uh, it's like a 16 bit key okay so based on that key you can if you are logging in your account uh, in your bro your account in your browser based on that you can retrieve the data okay like same thing only here also we can go we have different type of cloud storage medium i will tell you what are the different storage cloud storage medium in last based on that cloud storage medium we are taking some online that is we are taking the data of sensor data through the uh, cloud storage okay so using some api key after that you will move on to some model also model is nothing but you will choose some model like machine learning model to train the model and test the model otherwise you can use some other data science also like pandas numpy matplotlib okay so about these pandas numpy matplotlib in our youtube channel i already posted some videos if you are new to those pandas numpy matplotlib you just check it out uh, python uh, the name is webinar on data science okay so we have part one part two and part three also part one is all about pandas numpy matplotlib and part two is all about how you can impl uh, implement real time data set with svm and then k means like that we are posting some poster already we done about those pandas numpy matplotlib if you are new to this channel please do watch after this webinar okay so here we can we can use some other process and you can retrieve the data through online so this is the way you can this is the iot architecture you can do whatever you need you can do okay so next slide is all about some literature survey so literature survey is nothing but in 2014 nearly 2 billion connected device will be chipped okay so the chipped means the like iot devices get will be improving on 2014 onwards till till some of the countries will have using some other uh, different type of iot fields like uh, if you take an image processing layer relator open cv relator 
okay so the sine is the one of the most um, dominant okay so in open cv related right they are using even bup even um, public camera as a image processing okay so based on each and every cameras will be as a at as a image processing okay so based on that also you can find uh, like uh, some other thieves like that okay so there is a survey like this and then next one okay so he, so about he the he telling that information is great why to reduce the waste and increase the efficiency and is the real what is the internet of uh, things provides okay so so this is about our kevin aston so he is one of the uh, famous like internet iot related things okay so he given some this quotes okay and then next okay so it's all about internet of things okay so internet things is nowadays we are talking everywhere like iot 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 okay it's good or bad is is nothing but it's good only okay because it will be improve uh, like it will be reduce you reduce our human activities okay so for example if you want if you are wake up early morning okay after early uh, if you want to wake up early morning tomorrow it's if you are using some alexa like some other chatbots later means it automatically tell the uh, if you want to wake up early morning you have some meeting okay so like related to those meeting it automatically gives some suggest okay and if you are sad it will be play like only a sad song if you are in good mood they will play some good moods like soft songs like that okay so internet of the thing is uh, now it's beginning only but it will be uh, like most important and dominant trending technology okay so it when we in future okay so it's already it's uh, transform is already it's, we are using only but not 100% we it definitely will achieve within few years okay so in terms of things and then process how we can do uh with data science okay so the process here we can see collection of data after collection of data and communicate analyzing and act okay so collection of data everybody will know based on the some sensors we are collecting the data and then we are saving it in some cloud computing okay like for computing or edge computing after we are done do done this based on router router or any other Uh, network we are passing those data to the respecter users okay so this is the process and then here we can see this is the one of the uh, ppt all about one of the presentation all about how we can process with intelligent lightning to your home okay so to your home intelligent lightning means in in name itself we can suggest just based on the climate condition and based on the day and night condition how automatically it's built the it will be turn on your light and turn off your light okay so based on all about sensors and then actuators okay so if any sensors if any object will be move around uh, within your place automatically the light will be turn on and then it will be check whether uh, like that otherwise you can use your mobile phone and you can turn on your um we attain on your light systems okay in your mobile phone also manually otherwise like this you can do whatever it you can do okay so this is the one of the uh, intelligent lightning okay and then next thing is all about uh, how where where and all we can use iot okay so here you can see base you can use like home okay home means you can use like for health prediction otherwise entertainment prediction uh, like movie recommendation or uh, security purpose okay so nowadays we have some uh, door lock with the fingerprint also okay so this and all comes to iot only okay and then utilities and appliances home appliances okay these are the area we can use in home and the transport area we can use it for parking and uh, emergency service like in traffics and logistics and like highways we can use parking uh, we can use iot and then in industries and community you can use like uh, surveillance camera or factory purpose okay and smart me- metering okay like that you can use in industries and then 
in national okay like uh, infrastructure developing and then remote monitoring and smart grid cloud storage and all we can use and then uh, and apart from this we can use like wbam wireless body area network okay wireless body area network means the person who have uh, unable to the person who is in bed okay so we can use sensor data we can uh, attach the sensor data based on that sensor data in home itself uh, automatically the doctors will be uh, give some suggest about medicine how its uh, body condition and uh, how it's going on like that in uh, based on the sensor data the data will give some suggest like that wireless body area network and then home users uh, and then policy makers so this other area we can cover internet of things nowadays okay so it's a vast area and then iot is we are using okay and the next one hardware so about hardware is all about nothing but first one is arduino okay so arduino is one of the uh, one of the hardware we can use for like collecting a data uh, it's a basically it's a open source electronic platform and it's easy to use as a hardware and software okay so here we have a picture of i uh, arduino so we have like a usb jack and then three uh, some other components like 5 volt load dropout or dc power jack okay and then um, it's like a uh, some board it's a board okay so based on this board you can read the input and based on the reading a input you can glow a light or uh, some other sensors or button okay like a twitter message you can see and then we have some other um, what are the main use of uh, arduino is it's a open source proto prototyping platform okay so arduino is the nothing but it's a open source op uh, prototyping platform used for uh, building an electronic object okay so this is the main use of uh, arduino okay so you can physically programmable circuit it's a, like a circuit only you can physically you can prod what you need you based on that for example Mm, if you are having one sensor like uh, ultrasonic sensor okay so if ultrasonic sensor we will place it in uh, some other uh, tanks okay water tank like that uh, if the tram water is filled based on the ultrasonic sensor we can measure the distance how the water is filled in our tank if the tank is filled automatically ultrasonic sensor will be send the message to arduino so you need to turn off the uh turn off the power okay so the power will be automatically come so like that also we can use uh arduino sundar and then it's nothing but uh, it's all about ide integrator development environment so using that integrated development environment we can um, build one arduino with uh, like these features okay so just example i am telling about uh, that ultrasonic sensor but we have lot of things we can done with those arduino okay so this is all about arduino and the next one is like nodem cu okay so nodem cu is like a arduino only but uh, it's a open source firmware uh, like prototype based on same thing prototyping board only and then it's like a uh, like uh, what is that? the working of nodem cu is nothing but like based on the gpu okay gpio okay so there is a open source iot platform and then it we have a gpio okay that is general purpose input and output so based on that you can based on the pin mapping okay so we have lot of pins in nodem cu based on that pins mapping we can get an output okay so this is the use of open cv uh, sorry nodem cu and it's based on like uh, when we compare to arduino it's uh, uh, right, like some of the configuration is low only but it's mainly used for uh, like G gpio okay so this is all about one of them see you and we have some other components also so i don't want to tell about all the things because uh, i will move on to technical session how we can work with data science okay i will tell you about that next okay then sensors okay so sensors nowadays we are using more sensors like uh, like accelerometer 
acceleration okay so acceleration is nothing but uh, like it's mainly used to tilt your mobile okay so for example if you are if you want to watch movie you need to change the you change your screen to horizontal okay or vertical okay so like that you want to do some uh, tilt position means you need to uh, you need to use acceleration acceleration sensor otherwise electric or magnetic sensor otherwise leak level sensor okay and then we have flow level sensor and chemical gas sensors also okay gas sensor uh, it's also used for uh, like um, whether the person will be drunk or not okay so using that gas sensor we can check it out and then humidity monitor and then temperature sensor so we have different type of sensors okay so if you want to see about ultrasonic sensor so this is the, this is the ultrasonic sensor so we have one transmitter and receiver okay so transmitter is nothing but it will be send some echo signal to uh, to the echo signal to the uh, environment okay so ecosystem will be travel if any obstacles is there okay so it will be reflect to the receiver okay so based on the ecosystem uh, transmitter and receiver we will check the distance we will calculate the distance okay so mostly it will be used in like uh, in cars okay so if you are if you are want to take a um, back for move backward okay you can use ultrasonic sensor that purpose and then we have ir sensors okay so like we have transmitter and receiver also based on the ir sensor uh, like in our in google in redmi in redmi mobile phone and all we have ir blaster so using this you can control remote also okay so this is one of the purpose ir sensor and then cloud platforms of internet of things okay so what are the clouds available okay so cloud is one of the main source for iot okay so because we are collecting the data we need to so store those data in cloud okay so for that you can use different type of clouds but most uh, useful and user friendly one friendly is free source and then it will be using is very easy easy cloud is things speak cloud okay so you can aggregate your data in the things speak cloud do and we can do for analytics okay so if you want to use cloud like things speak cloud you need to create a account okay after creating an account they will give some keys okay they will give api key okay so i already told to you what is the api key api key is used to collect in the data from the cloud to your local disk to your local pc disk okay so for that purpose we need some api key using that api key you can retrieve the data okay so other apart from this we have cloud like uh, things works okay eight iot platform microsoft azure okay and then google cloud ibm watson and then aws and then cisco and salesforce ka oracle things pick and ge predicts okay so these are the most top level uh, platforms iot platforms you, using this you can uh, build an one iot okay so based on so these are the area if you want means you can use things pick it's most uh, friendly and uh, easy to use okay compared to those platforms okay so let's we see enter into this technical session okay how we can uh, do some analyzing process with temperature sensors okay so i have a data set using i have a data set of temperature sensor okay just a minute so i have a core i download this feed file.csv this file through online only okay so i have a temperature sensor using those temperature sensor i collect some data and those data will be uh, retrieved from the using api key so using api key i download this data set and then i am reading those data set okay so here you can see i just zoom it okay so here i am using a, one new ipymb file i interactive python notebook okay so this is my data set if you click the data set you have data set like 
created at okay so created at means when we collect the data set and then entry id and then temperature and then target okay so entry id means uh, which time we receive the data from the sensor okay so simple thing if i want to just simple thing what i want to do means i am having a sensors okay so using those sensor sensors sensor 2 and sensor 3 Us using these sensors i will collect some data like temp for example if we take it as a temperature sensor this temperature sensor collecting data will be sent to one cloud okay so here i am using things click things click cloud okay so things click cloud okay so here i have a data set so like now i showed you now so this is the data set i stored in my things click cloud okay things click cloud now data is stored but in cloud only i having a data i need for my data analysis purpose okay for my data analysis purpose i need some data okay so for my data analysis purpose i need some data okay so how we can retrieve this data from cloud to my local disk okay so using api key okay you using api key okay so api key is nothing but if you are registered with this things speak cloud okay they will give some api key from 12 digit 12 bit key or some other key using this you bit key you can uh, build build one program you can write the program and you can retrieve collect the data through online okay so like this only we are collecting this data from online after we are collecting the online i am using some other basic packages pandas numpy matplotlib and cball so to read the data set numerical python and then to plot a graph and then graphical representation okay so here i am giving my data set dot csv and then reading my data set and save it in data variable okay so in this variable my whole this all the data will be saved in data variable after that i am printing the data so here you can print the data so here we get an output but here you can see target value okay target value is nothing but based on the temperature value they will represent so for example 35 degree means it's a maximum temperature 29 degree means it's a minimum temperature okay so like this we have a uh, temperature value and then output okay so it's a classification type of algorithm and then it's a supervised learning okay so in machine learning we have totally three type in that three type it's a supervised learning classification type of program okay so we are taking this data set from things play cloud okay i am using a head head is the function to display first file okay so first time i want to run the cell I'm running this cell so you can use google collab also okay so google collab if you are not installing anaconda uh, anaconda navigator in your pc you can use Zip, uh, google collab okay just search it in google like google collab okay so if you search google collab means automatically you will get some notebook okay so it's nothing but jupiter google collab and then kaggle notebook and all it's nothing but interactive python notebook only okay so you the name is different like here we are using collab here we are use telling as a jupiter and then in kaggle they will tell it as a kaggle notebook okay so all are same only you can use this notebook means it will be create in your notebook in your google drive okay so using cloud also you can run the uh, page okay so here i am reading the cell after reading the cell here i am using data okay and i am checking the type of the data okay so still it's loading mm, yes now it's loaded okay it's printer so using a head function to display in the first file and then using type okay type is nothing but data frame okay so data frame means if you have a data frame like you can see here file 
okay so data frame is nothing but we have more number of rows and columns okay more number of rows and columns okay so here if it is a data frame in pandas according to the pandas if you want to do some activities using column name using column name if you want to do some activities you need to use you need to call it as a axis okay axis equal to 1 if you want to do some activities like deleting or dropping uh, according to the row wise okay like one here we have row 1 2 3 and 4 if you want to do if you want to drop second row means you need to use axis equal to 0 okay so this is the way if you uh, this is the panda okay so if you take a pandas uh, core frame data frame that is here you can see core frame data frame okay the type of the data is core frame data frame so if you take a core frame data frame you have like this okay so more number of rows and columns in this if you want to do some the, the column is called as a axis equal to 1 and the row is called as a axis equal to 0 okay and then definitely we have some attribute names of each column okay so that is called pandas core frame it's in a frame the data is in the frame manner okay so next one save to save is the uh, like we can check how many data available in my data set and then information so what are the information means to check, to check the column data type okay so why we are checking this column data type means if you have data with object that is if you have data with categorical value you need to change those categorical value into an algorithm understandable okay that is the use of information okay. using this information you can get an result okay so here you can see target okay target is nothing but it's in an object it's in an object manner you need to convert those object into integer or float type so that is the important thing using that only you need to uh, train the algorithm so that is the thing okay see so here you can see using temperature only i am taking in our data we have different type of attribute like created entry id temperature and target so i want to check only a, i want to take only a temperature means you can use this wait a minute you can use that run run and then run you can use like this also okay so if you want if you take if you write like this you, it will be automatically take only a temperature column and save it in temp variable name and you can plot the graph so here you can see the plot using plt that is plot function using plt plt is nothing but matplotlib.pyplot matplotlib.pyplot is a library file used to plot the graph using this library file i am plotting the graph okay and then i am passing the temperature that is the variable name of uh, data set stored as a temperature and then marker is equal to o marker we have different type okay so based on that marker uh, you can get an output if you check it in google what are the markers available in matplotlib you have different type of marker like square or triangle okay so like that you can you have more number of markers using that markers you can change your data set representation also like here we can giving color line and then line width equal to zero so here we are not using any line width so here you can see we are getting an output like 80 percent and 36 okay so based on that if you give an x is, x is equal to count value okay so if you give normally uh, you can see here x axis equal to count value and then y is equal to temperature that is this is the temperature level we have in our data set we have from 28 starting temperature value is 28 to 36 within the 28 to 36 how many temperature that is uh, like 28 related how many is there so one is there like that and then uh, 20 data is there like this okay like that we can plot the graph and then we have sns that is c1 c1 is another plotting graph uh, to plot the graph here using um, i am using count plot and checking the target value 
so target value is nothing but how many maximum and how many minimum available in our data set so we have maximum value 16 and minimum value 25 based on that count plot you can check it out and then next to processing I am importing a processing to label encoder why I am using this label encoder mean here we can check sorry here you can see I have a target column in object type okay so I need to convert this object type into a numerical way that is integer or float so here I am using that label encoder function and then saving my label encoder function in one variable that is lab then after that I am passing my target column to label encoder function okay so after I am passing this target column to label encoder function automatically label encoder function will be checked the cluster how many clusters available in our data like cluster is nothing but like maximum minimum maximum minimum like if you take an high low medium high low medium means we got totally three type of clusters but here we can see maximum minimum maximum minimum only two clusters so based on the group cluster automatically convert and values into zeros and ones okay so then it will be stored in a new target then after that i am try to passing those head function using head function i am trying to plot the first five in my data so here you can see new target so if you have a temperature high that is maximum you have an output converted as a zero if you have a minimum it will take it as a one so maximum means zero minimum means one so now we have unwanted column here that is target column so we need to remove drop those column okay so that is the one of the important so for that purpose here next time using a drop function to dropping like create id entry id okay and then target so these are the unwanted columns i'm just dropping using drop function after this i'm checking the output how what are the data available in my data set so we have only temperature and target data so temperature will be stored in one variable that is the name is x and then out y will be stored in that is target column will be stored in y so here i am segregating my temperature and new target into two variable one is temperature that is in x variable new target in y variable after this i am using some random forest algorithm and then using random forest algorithm and training the i am giving the data that is x and y after i am giving a data i am just passing the value that is i am manually i am entering the value like 29.9 so I am getting the output you enter the minimum room temperature okay so if you are giving above room temperature it will be give the result you are entering the maximum room temperature okay so like that based on our IOT data like based on our sensors data so here I am using only a temperature sensor and then we are predicting the output new whether it's a maximum or minimum but you can use different type of sensor like humidity sensor or temperature sensor or soil moisture sensor okay based on that soil moisture temperature and humidity we can retrieve the data but here one thing you want to know so here i am having a target column but if you are uh, having a new data for example you are keeping like temperature sensor one sensor temperature sensor and then humidity sensor humidity sensor and then moisture sensor okay so we are here we have three sensor okay so based on this three sensor i having i am having i will collect the data okay like one temperature sensor one column and humidity sensor one column and uh, moisture sensor one column but here you can see I am having only the temperature sensor, humidity sensor and moisture sensor. I don't have that target column. We need to define the target column. How you can define the target column? Based on manually also you can do like uh, you can take some approximate value that is some threshold value. Based on the threshold value you can uh, retrieve the data. Otherwise you can use machine learning algorithm also. So machine learning algorithm we have like uh, k means okay using k means you can uh, predict the how many clusters available in your data so this minimum 
are maximum clusters available in our data like that you can predict using k-means algorithm okay so after you are predicting you can create your own target column using k-means algorithm then you can move on to classification type of algorithms okay so this is the way you can uh, predict your target column okay so i hope everybody will understood about this iot with data analysis webinar okay so so that's it guys about uh, today's webinar if you have any doubt regarding this webinar you can con contact me on hvary.jar sorry hvary.java.pantechmail.com and i like to uh, tell about the intensive so uh, like we had partnership with iete so iete providing a intensive like these are the areas like in intensive on deep learning rea matlab or machine learning or electric vehicles android application like that so based on this intensive you will be get a certificate of iet pantech like symbol of iet uh, institute of electronic they will offering a certificate to you with pantech partnered uh, if you are willing to join this intensive you can make a call to our managers and i will show you some numbers okay so you can make a call and you can register for this and then if you are if you have any doubt if you need any uh, like any queries for this webinar session or you need to know upcoming webinar events and all you can just follow on whatsapp and telegram okay so whatsapp number is this one and the telegram is fantech e-learning each and every day events will be posted in our channel and if you want to contact sorry if you want to conduct like this webinar for your college purpose you can contact this any three any one members okay like say, mr sindhul kumar mr srinivasan and mr kumar sami you can contact those members for webinar and then both intensive also okay so if you are if you want to do intensive with iet partner with pantech e learning you can contact with contact with this numbers and one second if you are new to this channel please subscribe the channel and hit a bell icon you will be get a notification each and every time in live session and then if you are like this video please hit a like button it will be boostful for us for giving even more different topics webinar topics to you guys and then if you are like this video please share to your friends also your friends also gain some knowledge according to this video so thank you guys i hope everybody will enjoy this session thank you let me see in another one session thank you all